though. Hey yo, I'm back like I never left. Forever fresh in the seven day. Them niggas do it for clout and for presidents. That's why I packed it up and took the severance. You know, never roll with an ego. Ego under the Pico. Hold up. Feet on to feet on. The glowers, the knowers, the shiners, the showers, the non stagnant and the growers. It's the re emergence from behind the curtains. I don't What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's the OG Boricua Don Dada Raw and Uncut. Before I jump into anything, let me take a second, slow down a little bit. Salute to our homie, which we call uh, Real Rob. You know, he's a cool dude. Uh, he's MLW Confusion. Uh, he's now under the umbrella with us. So we are pumping out the dopest MLW product that any MLW fan can want. Uh, different tastes, different uh, points of views, obviously, with him coming in. It just makes, to me, before the drama, kind of feels like when Dipset joined Rockefeller. And I'm not trying to act like we're the two biggest things in, in podcasting. No, but it's a dope uh, partnership. It's a dope way to give fans like ourselves more to listen to about MLW. Um, so at this point, you have uh, Muffin should be coming back soon. You got MLW Confusion. You got the Underground Rundown. And then you got my own personal little videos that I do that I'd like to talk, whatever I want to talk about. Kind of more of the what ifs or things that I, I think I see. Um, am I right? No. Am I right? Am I wrong? No. This is what I think. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that other good shit. Two point in the case, right? Like MLW keeps putting out, do you know where El Jefe is? No, of course we don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who, who really does besides you guys? But... Hear me out. <clears throat> you kidnap the baddest dude in the building, right? Like, let 100% El Jefe don't fuck around. If they're doing it any kind of way where he was the artist formerly known as Dario Cueto. Um, and he put work in. You know, he even caught a few bodies. You know, and, and ain't no snitching. You know, it's a whole different thing. And that was, we know what wrestling is. But he caught a few bodies. You know what I'm saying? Um you kidnap this guy. Now, he has been on record saying that he's going to bring over the best luchador talent, period. Doesn't matter where they're working. He's going to get them to eventually come in, right? Now, if we see kind of a hiatus a little bit, we don't see him for a while. When this guy gets free, or or kind of like how uh, Richard Holiday freed Hammerstone, you know, um, and we're not going to say who put Hammerstone in a weird situation where he was you know locked up or nothing we're not gonna mm, i don't do that ain't no rats here but holiday did free him you see one door says selena de la renta i think the other one said kill shot so there, there's a play into things here but when el jefe comes and and you know pause when el jefe returns to mlw you think he's not gonna come in here with some kind of like Everybody's going to have to catch it. Like the reign of El Jefe, it's going to be El Jefe season. You know, like you had killer season. You have to have, you know, El Jefe season. He's going to come in here and he's going to annihilate some people. Now, I do think, in my personal opinion, uh, I've said this on, you know, on record. I think that it was uh, the calling, right? I think the calling needs to make a mark. I said that. They got to do something crazy. And this is before El Jefe went missing. Calling out to do something where you come out and you're like, oh, they're here. You know, not just come beat up Hammerstone. You're like, all right, it's what every bad guy group does. They come in, they go at somebody. But you got to do something with an impactful, uh, to leave your mark. Grab him up, El Jefe, that's leaving your mark. Beating up Hammerstone, eh, cool, you just beat up Hammerstone. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, whatever, the guy rolls dolo at the moment. But um, you don't take him out, and you know what I mean by that. Let, let's not have to say everything. If you don't take out El Jefe, and you allow El Jefe to gear up and bring his return, that's where I think the Azteca Underground thing might come to fruition. You know what I mean? Like, we've been saying we wanted to see it. We, we got a sample size in Mexico, which was fire. Fire. One of my favorite all-time MLW matches was uh, Pagano versus Richard Holiday in that, like, prison match or whatever it was. It was fire. The, the production of it, the way 
Um, you had El Jefe at the top of it overwatching it like uh, Crime Boss. You know, it was fire. So I would love to see that kind of product in, in the States, in America. I think it's something that no one has done since Lucha Underground. And Lucha Underground had its own massive following. Everybody still loves Lucha Underground. And when they reference it all the time, kind of like an ECW, it's, it's constantly ref, uh, referenced. But I don't know who he's going to bring, but he's going to bring somebody. Now, I would love to see a King Muertes come back. I think that would be a holy shit, right? Like, he's a monster. The guy, you know, kind of looks like Bane. You know, he kind of looks like a comic book character, but real life. So you're like, oh, okay. Um... I mean, you already had people that he could, uh, what's his name? Oh, man, I totally forgot his name, but he was, uh, don't matter. He was in uh, Lucha on the Ground and MLW for a while. But there are so many guys that he could bring and just wipe out. And I'm not saying completely take out the calling, because I, I love faction. I think every wrestling show should have a strong faction or a few uh, strong factions. Not like, you know... Uh, or botch wrestling where you got 9 million factions and you barely see anybody. The calling so far has been done really well. They look really strong. I like the cinematic value of Raven to his crazy house thing or whatever it is. It's a good look. Um, I was going to say Bumai Fight Club. But we know at this point Myron Reed is, is no longer an MLW. So it's kind of just Mr. Thomas and... Uh, Alex Kane, which to me and to Bill Vink, because he likes to jump into the chat and come at me. Um, Alex Kane, I think, is the most all-around wrestler in MLW. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have another Alex Kane. I love Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu is the truth. He can go anywhere, any company, be a champion. Uh, Hammerstone... Hammerstone, I think, needs a, a manager to speak for him, right? Like, I think he's an amazing wrestler, obviously has the build and everything else to be the top guy. But uh, Mike Skills, he's kind of, eh, you know, he kind of needs that thing. The one that I'm kind of excited about, if this happens, now, there's a lot of ifs going on, but hear me out real quick. Who did we see with El Jefe uh, constantly? Richard Holiday. Richard Holiday, we know, um, has finished his, his treatment and he's working out, getting back in shape and getting into that wrestling shape. If he comes back with El Jefe, because remember, they were cool. You know, El Jefe had no problems with him. They were talking, they were chopping it up. Everything was peace. Richard Holiday comes back with El Jefe. And we all felt, you know, Thank God Richard Holiday got better because, you know, we didn't know. We just kind of, well, why, did, why did he lose? It was the perfect time to pull the trigger for him to take the belt off Hammerstone. Um, you bring him back at this point, the way he left out, he left out at the top. Like, he left out as the number one guy in MLW. Now, what about but how they marketed him, how they produced him, how everything. Richard Holiday was the, the talk of MLW. If you bring him back and he walks out with them and then you got a few other guys, you know, obviously luchadors and stuff like that to match the vibe of El Jefe. You bring a few guys back behind him and they rush the ring and they start fucking everybody up, especially the calling, and you just mop the floor with them. El Jefe once again comes back at the top. Richard Holiday crushes it at that point. Everybody's going to be super excited he's back. But you put him projected as, once again, the top guy. And then you book it however you're going to book it now. I don't like doing fantasy booking. I'm just saying what I would like to see with El Jefe. And if, you know, as long as Richard Holiday is 100% we bring him back, I'm with it. But I think that's how you do it. You you hold out. You go, Holiday, you ready? He gives you that green light gang. I'm with it. Let's do it. Get a few luchadors and fuck these dudes up. You know what I'm saying? And it's no hate. Because like I said, I like what I see with what the calling my one knock with it. Still not sure how I feel with Raven. And I kind of feel like eh, this guy is no Joseph Samuel. That's a one of one. You know what I mean? That's a one of one. And I understand that. But I mean, I'm kind of iffy with him. Ricky Shane Page is doing some 
fucking nut shit out there. Akira's looking amazing. Pause. Um, but I would like a few more members, obviously, because factions should be larger than two, three guys. Um, but don't sleep on what I'm trying to say because I know they'll throw little teasers just to keep it, you know, your, your thought, where is he? Where, you know, I'll help you this, I'll help you that. But think about what I'm saying. Bring Richard Holiday into that mix outside with El Jefe. I mean, stop playing with him. That's straight cash money. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if I had the rights to it, I'd do the cash rules. Everything around me drop right back there. Because that's straight. Make it rain on him. You know what I'm saying? That you can't paint the better picture. This goes up in the chapel. You know what I'm saying? That that image of El Jefe walking out talking his shit. And Holiday walks out, and then the other goons walk out behind him. You talk about, you know, MLW making a splash and people going, yo, did you see that? That's that shit. And you got to let it be raw. You got to let these dudes throw a beating on them. You know what I'm saying? Take it back to the, the gritty Lucha Underground, Azteca Underground in Mexico tapings. Take it back to that real gritty... Let's put that work in street shit. That shit would be crazy. You know what? I've talked my fucking shit off for way too long. 11 minutes. I try to keep these around 5 to 7. But obviously, this is my shit. El Jefe season's coming. Ladies and... Pause. Ladies and gentlemen, for myself, the big homie, Underground Rundown, MLW Confusion. Man, we out of here, deuces. Stop playing with them. Subscribe.